Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am, <laughs> I'm having a stressful day. So I decided that it would be a good time to reorganize my bookshelves and I am filming a video for that as well. But I realized that I have loads of new books that I haven't done a haul video for and I don't want to put them on the shelves until I've done a video of them. So I literally, I wanted to do a January, February, book haul basically so the books that I got over the last two months um, but I do have a, an order coming that has like eight books in and it's not here yet so I'm just gonna like snip that at the end when I finally get them but anyway um, I literally already have 41 books to talk about which means when I get the other eight it will be 49 which I feel like I need to just get one more just to round it to an even 50 by the end of the month <laughs> Well, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, basically I just wanted to talk about the books. I don't want this video to be too long, so I won't be going into like super into depth about each individual book. Um, but obviously I'll give a quick synopsis and basically the reason behind why I got it. I have a mixture of books I bought myself, books that George bought me. Uh, I have a few arcs um, and books that publishers and an authors sent me and then it also got oh I have the most amazing followers on booktok loads of I think about six people sent me books off my wish list and oh my god I literally cried every single time someone sent me one like I'm tearing up now just thinking about it like I cannot believe that anyone would even consider sending me oh see why, why would you buy me books I don't get it I, do, I don't Anyway, um, I am <laughs> eternally grateful uh, for, for people buying me books, honestly. Yeah, anyway, um, I'm getting emotional. So, um, yeah, let's just dive right into it. If you do like this video, please like, comment, please subscribe if you want to see more content. I upload a video at least once a week. Uh, talking about books and book reviews, recommendations, lots of book hauls because I have no will power whatsoever. So yeah, let's just dive right into it. All right. So the first book I'm going to talk about is literally just the first one here on the pile that I've got going. You know what, I'm going to quickly show you the pile because it's ridiculous. That is literally how many books I need to talk about. So I'm gonna be quick and snappy. First off, I got Devouring Grey, The Devouring Grey by Kristen Lynn Herman. I think I included this in one of my other videos because I got an order from The Reading Tree and they do books for £2.50 and then free shipping when you order £25 worth so, or when you get 10 books, which is the book order I, I said I'm still waiting on. It's also coming from The Reading Tree. And it has fantastic brand new books for £2.50. So yeah, I got The Devouring Grey, which is a YA horror, I believe, about a monster lurking in the forests of a small American town. I think that's it. Yeah, when bodies start to appear in the woods, the locals become downright hostile. Can the teenagers solve the mystery of four paths and their own part in it before another calamity strikes? So I think it's a horror thriller set in a small town and it's teenagers, young adult. And it just, I like, look at the sprayed edges. It's gorgeous, so yeah. That's one. I'm super looking forward to this. The next book I got. George got me this for Valentine's Day. It's Take a Hint, Danny Brown. This follows the sister of Chloe Brown in the first book and a romance. But apparently the main male protagonist in this struggles with anxiety and mental health issues, which is fantastic. It's good representation because funnily enough, men have brains too and have mental health issues like why is there stigma around that of course like they're normal human beings just like women are just like everyone is everyone struggles so great representation i really appreciate that and i cannot wait to read it uh the next one i got this is again was one of the reading tree orders and it is northanger abbey by jane austen i have never read that's a lie i i started it but i only read like 30 pages but this was like, oh my gosh, like eight years ago. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this again. Excellent quality for only £2.50. Honestly, it's beautiful and look at the cover. Like that's so pretty. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I, <laughs> so I was on BookTok and I just wanted to treat a couple of the, my favorite BookTokers. So I went on their wish list and bought them some books and I bought this book 
for Evie's Evie books and I read the synopsis for it on her wishlist and liked it so much that I literally went and then went <laughs> and bought myself a copy. So it's The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and what I gather it's about a, a very wealthy family whose the father dies and this stranger then an eccentric billionaire dies leaving her almost his entire, entire fortune and no one knows, least of all Avery knows why and she has to move into this mansion with the family of the father and they're basically, you know, they're wanting their money so yeah, it sounds really interesting I like the whole vibe of them all stuck in one house and I think it'll be a, quite a good thriller so yeah, thank you to Evie Books for this recommendation from her wish list. I then again from the reading tree got this gorgeous copy of Tess of the Durbervilles by Thomas Hardy. Now I have never read this book but this is one of my mum's all time favourite books. She has read I think literally every like classic there is out there, she loves classics and this if this is one of her favourites and she's read that many then it must be good. Again £2.50, I'm not gonna not buy it and it's just gorgeous, look at that cover, like it's just beautiful, absolutely love it. So yeah, really looking forward to that one. Then, oh beautiful Beth, Cozy Badger from Book Talk, she bought me a book, she bought me A Vow So Bold and Deadly which matches, I've got those two there. It's the first two. Now those are the first two in the series and this is the last one in the series and Beth, the, oh she's so beautiful, she bought it me with a gorgeous lovely little note saying that I deserve it so much and oh my gosh she's just lovely, she's so so wonderful so yeah I've also bold and deadly. I don't, I don't want to read the synopsis to this because I don't want to spoil, because I haven't read the second one so I don't want to spoil anything that might happen in the second one but Yes, A Vow So Bold and Deadly. Extremely looking forward to this one. And then again, another one of my wonderful subscribers bought me Heartless by Marissa Mayer, which is obviously a retelling of um, The Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. And I am super excited. A lot of people absolutely love this book on TikTok and say it's it's quite emotional but wonderful and it's a really good book. But also he left, oh, he was the most wonderful, I need to read this message because honestly it made me ball crying. It says, hi Amy, just a little something to show you how truly inspiring, kind and lovely you are. Ah, oh, I am so proud of how far you have come. Keep reaching for the stars. Love, Fallon. Oh, honestly, that message made me cry. I have the most wonderful followers, honestly. Ah, okay, I'm getting emotional again. Um, but yeah, that was from Fallon on TikTok, who is under the username Fallon.reads, and he has really funny um, stuff, and he is a huge twihard, which I love. <laughs> so yeah, a wonderful present, Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I'm so excited to add it to my collection. Oh, I'm, get off. I'm emotional. Right, I'm gonna have to take a break from my subscriber books, because I'm gonna cry. Um, I then bought myself Where the Forest Meets the Stars and I literally do not know a single thing about this although it was £3 on Amazon and I'd had it recommended personally to me saying that I would really love it so I instantly went on to look and saw it was £3 and I bought it and I know nothing about it because I have a problem. Um, but I think it's quite a hard hitting novel. Okay, so after the loss of her mother and her own battle with breast cancer, Joanna returns to her graduate research on nesting birds in rural Illinois, determined to prove that her recent hardships has not broken her. She throws herself into her work from dusk till dawn until her solitary routine is disrupted by the appearance of a mysterious child who shows up at her cabin barefoot and covered in bruises. Okay, I'm really glad I bought this book. That sounds so interesting. Okay, yeah. I want to read this now. So that is Where the Forest Meets the Stars by Glendy Vandera and that sounds really interesting and also for those that don't know I actually study birds in my real life <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to reading a book about someone who studies birds as well like so that sounds fantastic. I'm so excited to read that and then a lovely author, a young author, I think she was, told me she was 17 and she has her own book out like what? I didn't know how to do it. I couldn't, I couldn't write my own book when I was 17, are you kidding me? I couldn't write my own book and I'm 27. So A Kingsley, she reached out to me on Instagram and said she has her new book out and she would love it if I could review it for her and she'd send me out a copy which obviously it sounded fantastic so I was really interested and it is The Goddess's Throne by A. Kingsley. Um, it just sounds like a really fun YA fantasy. It's literally sounds like it's got everything in. Like listen to this, <laughs> literally it's got everything you could want from a fantasy book. 
When Claire and Sage Pax are thrown into arranged engagements in order to ensure political stability, they underestimate the difficulties that come along with it. Along with navigating her new relationship with the Prince of the neighbouring kingdom, Claire discovers that she has magic and embarks on a journey to discover its source. While Claire is out on an adventure with two men that her heart is torn between, the Prince of Exidium and a servant from Deuce, Sage is stuck at home in the kingdom of Pax et Lux, trying to become the next queen. What will happen if the people find out about Claire's magic? Why does Sage need to become the next queen? Who will Claire's heart choose? And why are the goddesses coming back to Earth after thousands of years? Like, doesn't that just sound like great fun? Magic, royalty, love triangles, goddesses. <sighs> you know, like, I I'm really looking forward to this. Um, to be 17 years old and have your own book. What? amazing so yes i'm really looking forward to that one now this is a guilty pleasure buy so i have let me show you so i have a copy of daughter of smoke and bone and i literally kind of bought them as i went and they're all mismatching copies of the books yeah and i have it's a trilogy but i got two of that the, the first one basically it's all a mix mix mash and i saw that a new version of the trilogy was coming out and i added it to my book wish list just in case like i had a bit of spare money and wanted to treat myself one day but my fiance george went and bought me all three like just like that and i cannot believe it honestly i like i literally added it like three days prior and he bought me them so these are the three so we have a daughter of smoke and bone. Look at that cover. Look at that with the goat. And then we have Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Now this series has been recommended to me literally like 50 times um, and people say it's one of those series that people seem to miss for some reason that it's not um, as popular as it should be because apparently it's fantastic so yeah i got the new, nice new trilogy of it oh and i love george for getting it at me i cannot believe he did that so sweet oh my god i'm gonna have to speed up i then got from the reading tree the four books of the red rising series which is a series set on mars uh it's a sci-fi darrow is a red a miner in the interior of mars his mission is to extract enough precious elements to one day tame the surface of the planet and allow humans to live on it. The Reds are humanity's last hope. Or so it appears until the day Dario discovers it's all a lie, that Mars has been habitable and inhabited for generations by a class of people calling themselves the Golds. A class of people who look down at Dario and his fellows as slave labour to be exploited and worked to death without a second thought. Set on Mars, difference between the classes, um, yeah. Really looking forward to that one. I then got Anne of Green Gables by The Reading Tree. I watched the TV show of this, absolutely loved it. And I wanted the book because I never read it. So yeah, look at how pretty that copy is. It's about a orphan who is adopted by two, a brother and sister um, on a farm. And it's basically her coming to terms with the fact that she's got a happy life now and doesn't have to worry about her day to day. Yeah, very emotional. I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, I also then got The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear. Again, reading tree, £2.50 each. These were like £8, £9, £10 each on Waterstones and on Amazon. And I got them for £2.50. Um, the box that is coming whenever it arrives has the third one in this series so i'm really looking forward to those again this is high fantasy ad adult fantasy this one um and i'm just really really looking forward to it so yeah i don't actually know a great deal about this surprise surprise um but it was two pound fifty each and i was planning on getting them from waterstones for like ten pounds each so obviously i'm super excited about that so yeah the silent things is also coming yeah i got those <gasps> i then got oh my gosh i'm so excited i've been searching for this for ages I got the first Death Note, the black edition. Honestly, I have been wanting this for so long. Like, so long. And I really struggled to find it anywhere. Like, genuinely struggled so much to find it. I'm super excited to read this. I don't really read graphic novels or manga or anything like that very often, so I'm really looking forward to it. That's gonna be really good. I then got a little, I got, I got a naughty book. <laughs> it's a book that I shouldn't have. I got Den of Vipers by K.A. Knight. Don't judge me guys, I wanted to know what all the fuss was about. If you don't know, this book is apparently a little bit, a bit fruity, a bit spicy, a bit naughty. Oh, 
Um, <laughs> I haven't read it yet. I'm a bit nervous too. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm getting into. Um, but everyone was talking about it on Book Talk and I wanted to know. I wanted to know what you guys are talking about. Apparently it's reverse harem. It's a group of get like a gang member of three or four guys and they now own a young girl. I say young, she's like 20 odds. Um, but her father sells her to the gang as a repayment for their debts. And yeah, just listen to the, <laughs> the back of this. They can own my body, but they will never have my heart. The vipers, I'm gonna make them regret the day they took me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I got this. I'm really nervous to read it, but it'll be interesting. And plus, the cover is actually super gorgeous, so normally with, like, dirty books, you've got, like, the men <laughs> with, like, the abs out and stuff. It's like, why put that on the front? Who's gonna want to read that on the train or something? Like, who's gonna... No, it's embarrassing. So, yeah, I got that. Let's just move on. I'm embarrassed about it. <laughs> Okay. Next, a super lovely person on BookTok again. This is another one of the ones from BookTok. She said, I read this one and I really enjoyed it. It is a sweet, action-packed, easy read that I plan on rereading many times over. I hope this brightens your day just a little bit and honestly, it brightened my day so much. It is Daughter of the Siren Queen, which is the second in the series after Daughter of the Pirate King, which I have yet to read because I only got it for Christmas, but thank you so much. Honestly, that's so lovely. That's so, so thoughtful. People are so nice. Honestly, again, I cried when I got this. Yeah, I'm just super excited to read this. Pirates, sirens, royalty. What, literally what more could you want? Um, I then got my box of stories box. Basically, I've teamed up with a box of stories, which I think was in one of my previous videos. And basically, they are a book subscription box that save books that we're gonna go into on landfill basically because they didn't have the marketing team to get the books out there to the world so these books were made and no one knew about them because they didn't have enough publishing uh, enough marketing or an advertising uh, so they're still fantastic quality books fantastic written and quality wise and people just don't know about them so they're literally getting thrown onto landfill so i've teamed up with a box of stories um and they do monthly subscription boxes they have seven different genres ranging from like young adult historical thrillers uh just a random set of fiction and then fiction and non-fiction so i got a young adult box which came with these four in uh yeah i got maggot moon which I, I, know, I know nothing about any of these books, which is the whole point. Um, the Maggot Moon by Sally Gardner. And then I got The Doubt Factory by Paolo Bacigalupi. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. Yeah. The Doubt Factory. Uh, I then got Maladapted uh, by Richard Curti, which says, Designed to survive, destined to die. And then My Lady Jane, Not Entirely the True Story, which sounds really, really funny. It's literally about a woman who marries a horse. This is the story of a real Queen of England, not the nasty version where her head is chopped off, but the one of lots of humour, romance, and galloping around. Uh, but uh, Lady Jane must keep her wits to survive, but it's tricky when your downfall is being plotted and your new husband forgets to tell you that he turns into a horse. It just sounds really fun. Anyway, yeah, so these are the four books that I got. I've never heard of them, um, and I'm sure I'm going to love them all, but... Yeah, they were just gonna get thrown onto landfill, but Box of Stories found them and basically they send them out in your box subscription boxes. So if you want to get 30% off your first box, put in code Amy's Book Nook and you'll get 30% off your first one. Link is down in the bio of this video. You can go straight there and if there's anything that you like the look of, then yeah, I would definitely recommend it. This book, I have been tracking down for about two, three months. And I finally found it. Uh, I'm so excited. It is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielus Daniel Danielewski. I'm sorry for butchering names. Basically, yeah, House of Leaves. And someone said it is the one of the scariest books that they have ever read. Um, and I love scare scary books. I love horror. But one thing that I noticed about this is the writing style is bizarre. Look at that. Like, there's just whole pages missing, and sometimes it's in verse, sometimes it's upside down. That bit's upside down. Like, it's bizarre. 
What even is, like, what's this, what is this book? Look at it. I am so, so intrigued and people have said just the fact of how it's written is terrifying. And I'm so excited to delve into this, honestly. I am so excited. This is probably the strangest book I have ever owned in my entire life. That's just a row of text going down. See, like, oh, and it's, back, it's upside down. That says dragging, by the way, that word. Honestly, like, it's insane. It is insane. I'm so excited. So yeah, that is House of Leaves. Um, I cannot wait to dive into this bizarre book. You know what, I'll read you the synopsis because basically the story remains unchanged, focusing on a young family that moves into a small home on Ash Tree Lane where they discover something terribly wrong. Their house is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Yeah, it just sounds fantastic. I am so excited and I've been trying to track this down for so long and I cannot believe it's finally here. So yeah, that is up there uh, with my want to read. Like, oh my god, I've been wanting it for so long. Next is one that literally, this literally just came like 10 minutes before I started filming. Yeah, yeah, I got it. It's Court of Silver Fl A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas, which is obviously, it's the new series, new book in the Akatar series, which it is massive. It's like 700 pages long. It's more, it's almost 800. It's a big book. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to diving into this. I think it'll be really fun. Um, I don't want to read the synopsis or anything. I don't want anything spoiled. So yeah, finally got it. In this month's fairy loot box, I got Law, uh, which is by Alexander Bracken. And this is an exclusive fairy loot edition. And look at the sprayed edges on that bad boy. Look at that. And then, are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Look at that. I'm gonna do it properly. Look at the art on the side. Yeah, yeah. You waiting? You ready? Look at this. What? It came with art under the dust jacket. So this is a kind of, from what I've heard, Greek goddess retelling type of book. Um, and yeah, I don't want to know anything about it because I want to delve fully into this, not knowing a single thing. But that is gorgeous. Right, the rest of the books now that I want to talk about are all more books that were given to me as a wonderful surprise from my followers. So I've got three, I've got two trilogies and then a few other standalones. So yeah, let's just dive right in. First off, I'm just going to start with this series and Lindsay on TikTok, uh, she is paperback bibliomaniac. Um, she got me this and literally she got me three books. She got me the size trilogy. Like, are you kidding? I cannot believe it. So yeah, I've been wanting this for a very long time and it was on my, <laughs> it was, it's like the full box set that she got me. And yeah, I cannot believe because she also was the one who got me Daughter of the Siren Queen. So she literally got me two, well, four books technically. She bought me two presents. I cannot believe it, honestly. I. I literally am speechless. I am speechless that anyone would want to buy me books. The Scythe Trilogy by Neil Sh Sh Shusterman. Shusterman. Uh, we got Scythe, Thunderhead, and The Toll. Or Toll. It's about people who have to kill. They become death, essentially. In a perfect world, the only way to die is to be gleaned by a professional scythe. When Citra and Rowan are chosen to be apprentice scythes, they know they have no option but to learn the art of killing. However, the terrifying responsibility of choosing their victims is just the start. Um, yeah, that just sounds fantastic and right up my alley. So thank you so much, Linz. Honestly, thank you. You are wonderful and I don't deserve you, so thank you. Uh, the next, I'll do the other book set, because I literally got two. I got bought the Mistborn trilogy, which, so we have The Final Empire, which is the first, and then we have, oh, that's book three. <laughs> and then we have The Well of Ascension, which is book two, and then we have The Hero of Ages. And it is, yeah, the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. I stick all of the notes in the front, so I can, you know, remember who. Um, and this is from Christine Haddad and she says, Hi Amy, I hope you enjoy, you deserve this and even more. 
You've given me amazing book suggestions and lots of tips, especially for the Octonomy series. Thank you so much from your TikTok follower, Christine. Christine, thank you so, so much. I cannot believe you would buy me a full trilogy. I can't believe anyone would buy me a single book, but to get a trilogy is incredible and I honestly cannot thank you enough. It is beautiful and I just, I cannot wait to dive into this world. Honestly, I am so excited for Mistborn. I wanted to get into the Brandon Sanderson works. He's written so many books and a lot of people suggested the Mistborn trilogy be the first one to dive into. So that's what I'm doing and it, it'll be fun. It'll be interesting, but thank you. Christine, so much, thank you. I then, oh, I got red, white, royal, blue. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting this for so long. This is by Casey McQuiston. I am butchering names today, I'm so sorry. Okay, unfortunately I lost the little note that came with this, I don't know where it's gone. I'll probably find it while I'm cleaning, um, but I know that Deborah Kelsey got me this on TikTok. Um, her TikTok account is at Deborah Kelsey. I'll probably, I'll link all of like the book talkers, book talk accounts below I think. Thank you so much. This is obviously, pff, loads of people know this, it's um, LGBT and it is a relationship between a prince and the son of the president who is a woman, which I'm here for. President of the United States, his mother, and then it's the president's son and he falls in love with the prince Henry and I'm super excited about this. A lot of people have been saying it's their favourite book that they read last year and just absolutely wonderful. So uh, yeah, thank you so much, Deborah. Thank you. And then I spoke about this in another book video. I can't remember which one. I think it was the reading vlog. Um, but yeah, the Ghost Hunters series. I've, there's only two out and this is an ARC, an advanced reader copy. Um, it's Ghost Hunters Pirate Curse and then there's Ghost Hunters Bones in the Wall, which is already out. And yeah, Susan McCauley, wonderful, wonderful author, reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to review these, especially this one before it comes out in March. So that is high up there on my priority to read list. She's just super, super wonderful, lovely author. And it is a set of children who go ghost hunting. That's literally all I know. And it's um, aimed at more children's fiction. It's 12 year olds. So, um, but that doesn't mean that, you know, an adult can't enjoy it. I think it's still gonna be really good fun. So. Thank you, Susan. That's lovely. Thank you. So, there is this lovely girl called Becca, and she literally bought me four books off my wish list, four individual books as well. Becca, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what? I don't deserve this, but I am so excited about the books that she's bought me. Every single one. Obviously, all my ones on my wish list are incredible, but she chose like the best of the best, and I cannot. I'm so excited to show everyone what I got. So, again, little notes, and um, I had these two on high priority because I really, really wanted them, and she said, I saw that these were highest priority for you. And it is the From Blood and Ash, and then Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. Obviously, the third one isn't out yet, but it comes out this year, so I will be reading them when that comes out. I've been wanting this for a very long time. A few people said it's really good fantasy, but also a bit spicy at times. Um, and yeah, everyone is going on about this series on BookTok. So I cannot thank you enough. Honestly, Becca, thank you so much for getting me this. It's incredible. And not only did she get me these two, she also got me a brand new book, which is The Gilded Ones. And this is by Namina Fauna, and it has got incredibly beautiful sprayed edges. Look at that. This literally came out like last week. So it says, are we girls or are we demons? Are we going to die or are we going to survive? I really don't know that much about it, but I know that the cover is incredibly gorgeous. Yeah, so that's another one that she got me and I can't believe, oh, thank you so much. And then my last book, I'm so excited about this. She got me Forest of Souls. Oh my God, I wanted this so much. This is Forest of Souls by Laurie M. Lee, and this was recommended by Books with Chloe, and I always see it right on her bookshelf in the background in every single video she has, um, and I've been wanting it ever since she recommended it, and I cannot believe, Becca, that you got me this. Thank you so much. Again, this is another one that she's read, and she wanted to say, she said she wanted to buddy read it with me, which obviously I'm, I want to do. I cannot believe it. So thank you so much. And I'm so glad that we have become friends through this as well because you're just a lovely person and yeah, I just cannot thank you enough, truly. So, oh, I'm getting emotional. Okay, so that is my book haul of all the books that I've got now. 
Um, the reason I'm going through it again is because I'm sorting out my bookshelves now and I'm doing that after the finished recording this video. So I probably will have an extra little snippet afterwards as soon as my last reading tree order comes and then once that's come then that is it for February then so I'll be able to wrap up this video so I'll see you when that box arrives <laughs> all right okay so I'm here to end <laughs> my January February book haul I've decided to make it January February March because I've had a few other things that I've gotten in March and I thought I might as well just throw them in there it'll be like till mid-March it's fine I'll probably end up getting more by the end of the month but shh, shh no one needs to know I got my big box from the reading tree so I'll do that separately but I will do some other ones that I got as well as that and then somehow try and figure how to fit them onto my shelves we'll move past it so um, yes I got this golden flame by Emily Victoria and um, this was actually the fairy loot exclusive that I got I know absolutely nothing about this uh, it just came in the fairy loot box so I don't know anything but it is beautiful look at it and then not only, not only it's signed, but also that, and then that. Like, I love fairy loot so much. Look at that. Honestly, their books are just incredible. Um, so I don't actually know anything about this at all, but it looks really, really beautiful, and I'm really looking forward to delving in and reading it. I then treated myself to a book on payday, and I got Wicked Fox by Cat. Cho and literally this girl the main character she is a a, gum, a gumiho a gumiho I'm so sorry if I pronounce I'm, I'm so sorry but it's literally a nine-tailed fox who survives by consuming the energy of men like as soon that was the first sentence of the synopsis and I was like oh, okay I need this I need this book in my life so yeah I haven't read it yet because it literally only came like two days ago but it looks amazing and it is inspired by Korean folklore and set in a rich contemporary fantasy world. I love it. So yeah, it's YA fantasy set in Korean folklore, which <laughs> I'm so excited to read it. I'm sorry. You can tell how excited I am. Um, I then got the deck of omens, which I got the Devouring Grey in uh, my last reading tree haul. And I was on TikTok um, and I didn't realise that it was part of a duology. And I was like, oh, well, it looks like I'm going to have to get the second one, which I did. So yeah, the deck of omens. How nice are they? They're so pretty, so yeah, I'm gonna put that next to the other one, but I need to like log it first, so I'm gonna put that to the side for now. This is an arc that I got sent, and it's Sorrowland by Rivers Solomon, um, and it just sounds amazing. I'm gonna read the synopsis for this one because A, it's an arc that got sent to me, so I'm extremely grateful, so I wanna do it justice and talk about it, but also it just sounds like an amazing story. So Vern, a black woman with albinism, is hunted after escaping a religious compound, then discovers that her body is changing and that she is developing extrasensory powers. Alone in the woods, she gives birth to twins and raises them away from the influence of the outside world. But something is wrong, not with them, but with her own body. It's itching, it's stronger, it's not normal. To understand her body's metamorphosis, Vern must investigate not just the secluded religious compound she fled, but the violent history of dehumanisation, medical experimentation and genocide that produced it. In the course of reclaiming her own darkness, Vern learns that monsters aren't just individuals, but entire histories, systems and nations. That sounds amazing. I am so excited to read this. It comes out the 6th of May, 2021. So, yeah, super excited. So I picked up Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. Again, I've heard incredible things, so I'll read the synopsis because I feel like me talking about it won't actually do it justice. So, this is Britain as you've never read it. This is Britain as it has never been told. From the top of the country to the bottom, across more than a century of change and growth and struggle and life, Girl, Woman, Other follows 12 very different characters on an entwined journey of discovery. It is future, it is past, it is fiction, it is history. It is a novel about who we are now. It is also the winner of the Booker Prize 2019, so I know it's gonna be good. So yeah, I'm super excited to read that. Then my super, super duper lovely friend Becca got me two books. So she got me the Fairies of Oz book one and two, and that's what they look like. So I've got Tin and then I've got Crow, which is book two. Look at how amazing they look. Um, the author is Cadence Robinson and then Amber R. Duell. Basically it's a fantasy retelling of 
the Wizard of Oz. Um, yeah, and I'm just super hyped. Apparently one of Becca's friends actually wrote it, which is super amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading them and they're not too big as well, so I could probably read them both in a day. We'll see. We'll see. I'll probably end up getting too busy, but I am super excited about these. They look amazing. My mum <laughs> treated me to two bucks from my Amazon wish list. She got me Little Women and The Secret Garden. So I've never read Little Women ever, but I know Rachel from Friends loves it. <laughs> so I really wanted to read it anyway, but I know a lot of people really love Little Women. Um, and just so you guys know, it's not actually about really small women, just so you're aware. Um, and then I got The Secret Garden, which is another movie from my childhood. If you haven't watched it, I would seriously recommend it. It is beautiful. Um, and look at that. Oh, look at it. I've never actually read the book. I've watched the movie so many times and I've been wanting to read the book for so long now. Um, and it's just beautiful. It's basically about a little girl who's sent away to her lot like uncle who she's never met in his big manner and she's just left her own devices and she finds a secret garden that is her escape um but there's a story behind the secret garden and it's just beautiful it is beautiful but just look how beautiful that is so yeah i'm super super grateful for my mum to get those honestly i have the best mum in the world okay i think Okay, so that is all of the books from like the little separate books I got and then the rest are all from the reading tree. So I got The Slow Regard of Silent Things, which is, I don't know if you can see them, they're just over there. It's basically, I'm pretty sure it's like a short novella of The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear, which I did get in, oh my leg's going numb. I did get that in the last reading tree book haul. So I got this one, I got The Silent Things, which sounds really good. And then again, I got another classic. I got The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. I've never read it and I'm really wanting to read more classics. So I thought that, that was a good one to start with. And I also got Villette by Charlotte Bronte. By Charlotte Bronte, yes. Again, another classic that I've never read. Um, and I'm just really enjoying kind of collecting them. Oh, I also got Far From the Madding Crowd, which is I think one of my mum's favorites by Thomas Hardy. Um, again, never read it, so really looking forward to branching out into some classics here. Just classic English literature is, it's where my heart is. Oh, what else did I get? Oh yeah, so I was at nine books. No, I think I was at eight and I was like, I just need to find like two more. And I kept scouring and there was no other like fantasy books that I really fancied. And I didn't want to just buy a book for the sake of it, but it is free shipping when you get, like the cost of the shipping would be the cost of the two books. So I thought, well, I might as well. So I <laughs> picked up a little romance book, which I don't read romance very often, but it just seems really sweet. It's called 92 Pacific Boulevard. And look at the cover. Like, it just seems like a really nice, sweet little romance novel to kind of just get lost in for a few hours. <laughs> and I think it'll be really nice. Uh, it's kind of small town, sheriff's daughter meets nice cute guy and uh, yeah that's literally all i know but it just looked really sweet so again i'd rather get two books than have to pay five pound shipping and get free shipping it just makes sense so i'm really looking forward to that it seems really nice and then the other book that i got is fur by sharon gosling and this is a horror based in a forest basically i'm guessing there's a murderer hanging around in a forest we are the trees, we are the snow, we are the winter, we are the peace, and we are the rage. The Stromberg family are cut off from civilization by a harsh winter in northern Sweden, and there are figures lurking within the ancient pine forests and they're closing in. So I think it's like a thriller, horror, mystery set in a pine forest in northern Sweden. But it just sounds really interesting. <laughs> I then got Brightly Burning, which I have seen a few people talk about on BookTok. I think it's a YA sci-fi, I'm pretty sure but the, it's just beautiful. Uh, this is by Alexa Don. Exiled from Earth, the remnants of the human race circle the solar system in slowly disintegrating spaceships. Soon the poorest will start to drop out of the sky. Yeah, so it's a YA sci-fi novel, which I don't normally get sci-fi, so that'll be really interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to that. And then last but certainly not least <laughs> is the reason that I bought all 10 books. <laughs> because I saw these three and I really, really wanted them, especially for only £2.50 each, brand new. I got the Dark Artifices set for £2.50 each. I got the full set for £7.50, which each book costs like eight, nine pounds on Amazon. So I need to somehow figure out a way to fit these on my bookshelves. There is no chance because they are massive. It's just um, 
by Cassandra Clare. Um, and I have yet to read them and I've only read two of the Infernal Devices, so... But, like, look at that. How beautiful is that? Okay, so, yes. That is everything. That is all my books. <laughs> I don't even want to know. I'm sure in the title I will count how many books I actually got, but it's ridiculous. Okay, thank you so much everyone for being here and watching this ridiculously long video of all the books that I bought. George is here to say goodbye to you all. Okay, I just had to sprint upstairs. <laughs> um, I forgot one book. Okay, so I got given another arc. I'm pretty sure I did the unboxing in a different video. I can't remember which video. It might have been my Akatar reading vlog. I do have the unboxing in a different video, but uh, I wanted to include it in here because I did get this book um, in March and it is an ARC, an advanced reader copy, um, and it comes out April 27th, I want to say. I'm pretty sure it's 27th. I am so excited about it. Dream Country by Ashe Brown. So that's what the cover of the book will actually look like. Um, and it just sounds so interesting. So it is YA fantasy. So it's um, a sibling rivalry between the gods of dreams, nightmares and sleep. I'm gonna read it. I don't need to know anymore. That's it. That's all I need to know. But I will read the synopsis because again this was an arc and I would like to do it justice because I am extremely grateful that people are generous enough, publishers are generous enough to send out books like this. The dysfunctional triplet gods of sleep, dreams and nightmares are kept separate by the deadly gates of horn and ivory. Only one fact keeps them tightly bound. Each of them is a suspect in their mother's murder. Their knife-edge feud worsens when a mortal enters the world with astounding abilities that threaten to change the game for them all. That sounds even more interesting. In this thrilling young adult fantasy, Ashe Brown brings to life a visionary world infused with Kenyan, Brazilian, Jamaican and Grecian cultural references. A story like no other with stakes as high as they come. It sounds so good. I'm so excited. I just, I want to read it right now. Um, between that and Sorrowland, the two, the two advanced reader copies I got, I just... Like, I forget the TBR for this month. Amazing, thank you so much. Oh, the publishers, I forgot to even say, the publishers are called Onwe. It's O-N-W-E, I think it's Onwe. Um, and they are an independent black women's publisher. I am so excited for this, so yes. That now is all the books that I got <laughs> from January, February to mid March. I probably will get more, but I will just include them in the next book haul. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's everything. Thank you so much for being here and listening to me ramble on. I know I talk a lot and I apologize for that. But if you're here, you must like it for some reason, <laughs> which you guys are crazy. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. Honestly, it means the absolute world. I cannot tell you how much it means. And I just love talking about books and love meeting new people who love books as well and giving recommendations and getting recommendations. That is oh, amazing. So yeah, I think that's everything. All my other social medias are down below. If you'd like to follow me on anything else, it would be super nice and it would make me real happy. <laughs> uh, I think that's everything. If you want to see any other different types of videos, please let me know in the comments down below. I read every single comment. Yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.